Oh god, we are dying. Come on, creeper, do some damage. Do some damage, do some damage. Come on. Hey, yes, nice. We just need not to die. Explode. Yes. And we are back in this crazy world we live in. So, yeah. I guess let's try and survive the blood moon. And explore the world a bit more. Okay, okay, that's a mushroom. I don't know, my brain is not working. Did we explore the mushroom yet or not? Because obviously this is the second mushroom we found. Oh no. I hear a lot of stuff under me. And there's the blue guy. Come on. Come on, try to burn me up. Or oh, you're gonna be dumb. Oh no, why did I jump down? I didn't want to jump down. The missionary guy is again coming for a rematch. Maybe we can cheese him if the spider won't kill us. -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's not good. That's a lot of mobs. What? Wait, would I, did I die? They almost die if that uh, thing saved me. Oh, we used our totem. Wait, how did I die? They want to say. Oh, that's a big zombie. Two big zombies. Why did I jump down? I did not jump down. Jesus. Sometimes I love the movement. Sometimes I hated this movement. Because I for sure did not jump down. But the game was like, whoop, you're dropping down. And where did the missionary guy go? I would like his loot, but looks like he's dead. Or despawned. Hold on, find a mushroom village. Is this a safe village or is this a... Oh, no. Or is this a hostile village? Well, by the looks of the mushroom, I would say it's a hostile village. Okay, this is not safe. Not safe at all. Do you have any bats? Oh, no, you have piglings with a sword. That's not good. Oh, this is even worse. I need bed. Bed, bed, bed. Do you have bed here? Come on. Yes. Oh, actually, it's Blood Moon, so I can't sleep. What was I doing? When I'm out of food, that's not good. And Yeah. So our only plan of action is to, you know, wait it out till it passes. Because look at the map. Look at all the red. There is no simple way we're gonna survive this. So yeah, we wait. The night is slowly passing by, so we probably can get out. And the zombie is already on us. We need to find a... Mm, creeper, not creeper. We need to find a village with the waystone so we can teleport to the home. Because right now we are stuck in the middle of nowhere. Holy hell! So, in other words, I need to get home to get to the cave to take our waypoint so we always have a teleporter home as you can see our inventory is full and without backpack which we can't craft yet until we have three eyes it's gonna be a pain to manage the inventory this way and looks like on the map there is this tower with one way waypoint so we are going to get to that and we got a achievement, a breath of fresh air. Fine, but how do I get up there? What? I found those pillars before. It's not my first pillar. Or is it? I'm confused. And here we go. Moral Car Care. Fine names. And Ender Pearls. Nice. Now, when the inventory is empty, let's go and check out uh, the mushroom thingy. I already see the welcoming party, so yeah. 
Yeah, we will to you too. Come here. Wait a second, that spawner cow? What? Am I crazy? That's a cow spawner. Okay, there are no villagers here. Oh, that's a lot of loot I like to see. Gold ingots, iron ingots. Anything behind here? Not really. Oh, and I... Hold on. A cow spawns the guy on the... Fruit. Okay, I'm confused. Can we mine the, mine, mine, mine the spawner from... No, we can't. Oh, this guy hurts. He hurts a lot. And what kind of bed is this? I mean, I would make a joke. Oh, diamond. That's nice. I would make a joke about the recent things that were happening around the world. That someone had a 50... Uh, a big ass bed. But I don't know if that's appropriate for YouTube. And can I get up there? Oh, there's a lot of coal I would like to mine, so let's get on it. Well, I killed an Enderman and got Mycelium block, so if we need to spread Mycelium, we have the Mycelium block. Oh, smite! I like that. We got an upgraded iron sword and we don't need seeds. And the fish? Nah, we don't need fish either. And this is the trophy we got, so a steel raiding a chest. Okay, I guess there are trophies, so we could make a trophy room, or am I just... Nope, that looks like just one trophy. Okay. And apparently this whoopee cushion should be able to be made into a fart in a jar, but by the looks of it, this mod pack doesn't have it. Which would give us, apart from funny fart noises, also a double jump option, which is weird by the looks of it, because, yeah, we don't have it. I was just harvesting, <laughs> harvesting some beetroots and creeper came behind me exploded. I love Minecraft. There is a whole ass book in this lectern, so if anyone wants to read it, here it is. And one more inventory dump is behind us in a second when I get inside my house. And I love this feature so much, you just click quick stack to nearby chest and voila! It quick stacks the items, well, to the chest. Isn't that awesome? And now hopefully while we're getting out we don't die. Oh, and we could do this spawn right now when we are underground here. Let me show you what it does. As you can see it spawns a lot of mobs. I don't like, but those mobs drop a lot of loot. Like as you can see, we got nothing interesting, but yeah, you get the point. Oh, and looks like we can create obsidian from magma blocks, so that is nice. And up we go from the hole we fell down, in order to find, I don't know, whatever we found down there. So. It looks like there is nothing interesting over here and I decided let's explore this way so we know what we have around our area. Oh, I found the tar monster again, Tartanic. And yeah, he doesn't look to be dangerous at all. And he drops tar fossil which we can do Convert with an analyzer into a coal and uh, nothing and something. Okay, interesting. Apart from interesting generation like this down there. Hold on, that looks like it's abandoned village down there. That's actually a pretty interesting generation, yeah. And there seems to be another mushroom village over there. So far nothing interesting. And let me guess, this forest fire, uh, I mean... 
Campfire is another goblin village that is useless to us. Hold on, I actually found a stone flail that is stronger than our current weapon. Let's see. So, oh, but it's... That is really, really, really slow. I mean, it's not worth using by the looks of it. What the hell is that? Do you bet it's a hostile creature or a passive creature? I mean, we're gonna find out, but it's hovering in a place. And it looks majestic. What are you? The power of the sun. What? Receive a blessing from the great and noble sunbird. Okay. So I guess that's a good bird. And there seems to be some kind of house up there, so let's investigate. By the looks of it, it looks like it's some kind of village in the mountains. So don't mind me, I'm gonna sleep over in your house, if you don't have a bed of course. We're gonna take your emeralds and stone because we need that, we don't need that. Is that a house we can sleep in? Let's see. Voila, nice bed. Okay, we found two books, so backstabbing amplifies damage when striking a target from behind, which is basically useless because you're always fighting a mob from the front side. And Hellstrider, as you glide through the molten rock, you feel a surge of speed and power cruising through your veins, allowing you to swim through lava with ease and grace. Oh, does that make us immune to lava? And fire protection too, reduces the effects of fire damage, also reduces the burn times that set on fire. Okay. And more books. Straddle jump increased the height of straddle board jumps. Now, what is a straddle board? I have no idea. And rejuvenation. When injured, pet may absorb experience, orbs, and heal itself. Okay. And bane of arthropods. We know what that is. It's useless. Well, you are selling an interesting enchant. Disc jockey. Pet is following, followed by a floating jukebox that can play music discs. Okay. I don't know what is that usefulness, but I guess you can have it. And who is this? A monk? Namaste, Altadjo. My home is yours to be in, okay? Meditating, meditating comes with practice, your mind will wander. Blah, blah, blah. Where did you run off? Bounties, if it's... I'd like some fruit to serve to my village, could you get some? I pay with the gems. Okay, and what kind of fruit do you want? And serenity, what is that? Contracts, could you get me all the crops for my agriculture? I'll be willing to give this trinket I found. Open contracts. Let's see, what does he want? So, contracts... Uh... Aha. Uh, -huh. uh... Or is it in bounties? Uh... 10 onion crate... Monk... Oh, so he wants onion crates. I think I know... I can farm easily onions. 35 emerald for hardness 3? What? Crazy man. Speedster more, pet enchant. Capacity increases backpack air, air capacity. Feather. Eh, we need feather falling. Okay. And efficiency. Yes. We need those two. And what do you say? Is there a teleporter in all of this mess? Because this village is. One of the messiest villages i found, and I'm gonna take that iron, I don't care. But it would be cool if they had a teleporter, they have two iron golems so far, so yeah. Oh, we found Charm of Sinking, the wearer can move freely in water. I'm gonna for sure use that. I don't know what did I do, but something gives me crazy amount of speed. Like, crazy amount of crazy speed. It's like I'm Sonic. So I found a monastery that has, oh, a lot of bread, and it goes underground, under the mountain. So maybe we're gonna get attacked by something, because there's a lot of dark places around here. But yeah, apart from hill, there doesn't seem to be a lot of stuff around us on this side. We are going for a rematch with the guy. We are coming for you, my man. Come at me. I'm gonna kill all of you. 
but I don't like skeletons attacking me. Ooh. Oh god, we are dying. Come on, creeper, do some damage. Do some damage, do some damage. Come on. Hey, yes, nice. We just need not to die. Explode. Yes. Why is that doing so much damage? I'm not healing up fast enough. And I'm getting super speed again. Maybe we can kill him with our super speed. Woo! I don't see what's going on. I just see there's a lot of creepers. Which might come to our advantage. Oh, the zombie is attacking him. Okay, that, that, that is going to our advantage. Come on, creeper, explode. Yes, yes, yes. We just need to survive long enough. Come on, zombie. Kill this guy! Oh, ho, ho, he's killing me. Oh, no. Why am I not healing so fast? I should be healing. And I hate spiders. And maggots. Okay, can we heal up so we can attack this guy? The zombie is still hunting him. That's good. Did we kill him? Oh my god, we killed him! We just need not creepers to explode our loot, please. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. We're gonna survive this. We survived so far. What is it? Just few more mobs. Phew! Crazy fight, crazy fight. So what do we don't need? We need everything, so we go home. And just like that, they took my food and ate it. Like, go away. Stupid seagulls. What is that? That's a whole castle we found. And it looks like it's a peaceful castle because there's a guard outside. So, I'm guessing we are welcome here. And what is this? Knock, knock. That's... A weird door those villagers have. I guess we're gonna have to climb the walls to get inside. And we are inside of the castle. You know what I just realized? This was our spawn! This was our spawn on one of our server versions. What? Am I crazy? No way I found our spawn. Like... Trust me, this is totally unintentional. I didn't know this is a structure. I downloaded it just from a schematic site, but yeah, it looked different, but no way. This is our spawn. I'm gonna go cry in the corner. Oh my god, and this guy sells mending. My guy, you are our best friend. We're gonna block the door and the name this mending. Yes, yes, yes. You don't have any doors you can escape to? You have this door, but not anymore. And now you are stuck here with me. And efficiency 2 and efficiency 2. Oh, nice. We can make efficiency 3 on our pickaxe. Hold on, and what is going on here? Do you have mending too? No, you have lava wax. Gives the rider of scrattle board fire resistance. Okay. Nothing interesting in this place. And more pet enchants. Poison resistance. Grants pet immunity poison effect. I should at one point get a pet to use all of those things. What the hell is exploding outside? Oh no. Oh no. I hope it's not what I think it is. Well, I don't see it, so I hope it's not that i found a rotten apple behind the throne so i guess i'm gonna eat it and see what happens when i get hungry 
Oh, that's a lot of honey bottles. Actually, we need honey to get our sugars up. And maybe we can get even more buffs than we currently have. Like, look at that. Apples and all of those good things we want. Yes. Oh, honey apple. I like that. I like that for sure. I don't need one feather. No, I did eat the, the honey dip. Come on. That's another TP we can add to our list of many teleporters. And another village under our control. So to say. Oh, we found bunny hoppers. Increase the wearer's jump height and grants community to fall damage. Oh, that's just perfect for me because I'm taking fall damage all the time. No way. No way we got that. That is like the best quality upgrade we could ever get. And what are you? Bard? Hold on. You're a bard. You're a new villager. What the hell? Oh, and this is a new kind of villager. And he has a lot of stuff we might take. Increased pet's movement speed. Oh, collar tag. Pet can naturally make any nearby monsters. Okay, deed of ownership. What? And what does this do? Can I ownership you? There was a rabbit obviously here, but it's no more. So what can I do with the deed of ownership? And yellow pet bed. I mean, I'm gonna take that because that looks nice. And I see another road to the village down there and some kind of black structure over here. I mean, what is the worst that can happen? Let's go and explore. During the rain and night time. Actually, I see... Oh, not you. Some kind of house in the distance, so let's check that out first. So, there seems to be nothing of value here, but there's a bed. Oh, and after the night and the rain, there is a rainbow. Now, what is this? Some kind of weird structure with redstone and lava. Black ag agralite... What is this? Maybe there's something under there. But I don't have a way to check that. Maybe like this. Oh, there's a chest and there's a lava flowing down. Uh, we don't want to die in lava. Okay, a lot of nothing for us. And of course we get caught in lava. And here we are. Another village and gatekeeper guy. You're not interesting. Now, what is this? A house? Aha! Can I get inside, please? With black wool, ventium ingot, and a baked potato. What is ventium ingot? How do you get it? And what can we make? Okay, shears, a lot of stuff, toolbox, ventium bucket, blue skies. So we can make tools with it too, prop. No, we can't. Ah, bummer. Hold on. Is this actually a portal? Because it looks like a portal frame. I wonder if there is a waystone here so we can teleport fast. And those guys don't seem to have portal unless it's somewhere down there. And I don't think there is one down there. Though there is some red stuff over there. Or something interesting. Oh, a wandering trader. We didn't see one yet. And he sells combustion chamber. I see. But he doesn't sell anything interesting. I say, huh, too, because glowstone. We might not have a way to obtain glowstone other than, you know, him. New chapters unlocked. Yeah, that was a lucky find. I don't think we need that deed. And there is another village or the camp over there. Like, this world is full of villages. Oh, and in the castle I remember this place. On the top of the tower, I used to store chests and do my projects here. You know, for crates and stuff. Looks like I breed up a bit more villagers than I thought I would. So, yeah. I think this is enough. But yeah, with all of that said and done and whatever this episode was today, it has come to an end. Time to say goodbye, stay awesome and see you guys next time. Bye!